technology. Today, we are going to see a port fax, fax uh, facsimile, or it is called as fax machine. So it is often, uh, often uh, we need to, in addition to the basic signals like speech, music, which are often transmitted, we are going to, there is a requirement for us to transmit signals of a visual nature. Visual means you have to see something and transmit. So facsimile is an exact reproduction and uh, transmission of a document at, at the receiving end. So you are going to send a document from one end to another end as it is. Okay, it's just like you're scanning and sending email, but it, you are going to send it using a different means that is going to be called as facsimile. So you know that the television uh, television uh, is also working the same principle. Visually at a distance, I have a receiver and that receiver is going to reproduce any scene which is being transmitted. Right? That is the operation of television. You have a signal which is transmitted from the broadcasting station and it is transmitted either by wireless mechanism or through cable wire to your house to your tv tv acts like a receiver it will receive the electronic signals and it will interpret that you will be able to see what whether how the video is moving right so same way the tv maximile is also going to use the same principle but i am not going to be it's not going to be uh, uh, more of a moment. In television, I can visually see the video and movements. But facsimile, it's going to be only a text. Or I can say rather, uh, information, some information is transmitted from one end to another using a text or a document format. So information transmitted uh, at a much faster rate in TV than in facsimile. So facsimile is very slow because you're going to transmit uh, a little amount of data only. You cannot transmit huge amount of data using a fax machine. And uh, information which is transmitted uh, at a larger rate in television only. So TV, when you are going to transmit large amount of information, you need large bandwidth. So for television, you need large bandwidth and circuit complexity. Everything is going to be very, very increasing. So as a result, it's going to add a cost to your uh, budget. So, but when you consider fax machine, the bandwidth is going to be small and it will use normal telephone lines for transmission. So, you need not have additional uh, uh, circuitry for uh, using this fax machine. You, you can transmit the same using a normal telephone line and every user will be given, uh, given a unique fax number to which you can send and receive information. So, the information getting lost is also going to be avoided. Okay, so sender will have a fax number, receiver will have a fax number. So once you type the number and click on send, the information will be scanned and it will be sent to the that receiving person and he can uh, see the document coming up in his uh, fax machine. Okay, so this is the simple uh, uh, personal fax email, fax email machine which you see. So this is the, it will, go, it will have a uh, handset for picking up the call and it will have a display with the different uh, functionalities which you can do in a normal way. Okay, so input scanner will scan the transmit the images over the telecommunication link to a remote printer. So this principle has been uh, used since 1930. So you are going to scan and send. So combined send and receive machines are available from uh, 1960s, 80s, 80s, 1980s and 87. And the number of, uh, owing to the popularity of fax machines, the number of machines that have been conducted to the worldwide telephone network will uh, was uh, growing very fast. The fax email provides fast the transmission of any document in the middle without specialist preparation. You just need, you don't need to do anything. If you have a document, you just need to insert it into the fax machine. The fax machine will scan it and it will uh, send the data to the receiver. So, however, between 2 million and 10 million bits are required for a raster scan of an A4 page. This has to be compared for ASCII coded. So, everything is ASCII coding I'm going to use. So, this will uh, add somewhat burden to my uh, transmission with a very high error rate. So, I'm not going to transmit them as it is. I'm going to transmit them as an ASCII coded characters. Okay, so that... Uh, Error rate also is uh, high. error rate is also high because I'm going to use ASCII coding. ASCII encoding will take a longer number of bits for uh, transmission, and this is going to be the only drawback for us. Okay, the design of facsimile machines have been strongly influenced by PSTN. I told you PSTN is your uh, uh, telephone connection, so the complete uh, set of telephones. Uh, the landline equipment which is handed to your telephone exchange completely everything is coming under the category called as a public switched telephone network 
the network is initially designed for speech and not for data so you know the telephones are uh, predominantly used for speech transmission from one end to another end they were not intended for data transmission but what happened therefore the power frequency whatever you are uh, using for fax email should suit the network so they we are going to send everything on a conventional telephone lines only right so the whatever frequency whatever power consumption you have to use it should suit telephone network otherwise you have to install a new network for your uh, fax email okay you have to install new network completely for your fax uh, network second the transmission time is expensive so effective data comp- uh, compression and channel modulation methods must be used yes so transmission times so if we are going to transmit huge amount of data you should not take longer time because that much time the channel will be occupied you have to compress the data and use appropriate methods so that you don't burden your network and finally since everything is network public network is switched so every fax mail can be connected to every another so since it is telephone exchange if you go and see you will see lot of pictures to it are interlinked between the numbers so since it is a switched network so it is practically possible to connect every fax mail machine to the telephone uh, lines so the uh, rigorous uh, development and other international standards is therefore necessary to ensure that the interconnection is not wasted so you should ensure that even if you are going to use the telephone line for communication the telephone line available bandwidth other things should not be wasted so this is a typical block diagram of a uh, fax mail uh, machine so you see that when data is see you here you have to feed your uh, document so it will be completely scanned the data will be compressed you will get an image okay and the image will be modulated and it will be sent to the phone line coupler the phone line coupler will uh, uh, couple the information into your uh, telephone line so the uh, receiving part the receiving information will come by the phone line coupler so it will go for demodulator you will when you compress the data at the transmitting end you will be expanding the data at the receiving end and you will have a printer at the receiving end to print the data whatever being sent and some control logic is used an operator interface is going to be used an auto answer dial is also some facilities are included to ensure that uh, you can uh, do these operations in a very very uh, efficient way compressing you know the data must be compressed because you are transmitting them on a telephone line so it should not burden your line and modulating you have to use appropriate frequency for transmission so modulation means you are translating the frequency from low frequency to high frequency so if you are sending this for long distance transmission modulation is required because uh, modulation will ensure that the data will be correctly received at the receiver and taking means in case of any controlling signals required this uh, control logic unit will handshake with all the other uh, entities to ensure that the information transmitted and information received are done in a pakka way so basic uh, fax machine operation so essentially a fax machine scans original documents and it converts the scanned images into electrical signals so first it will scan the documents into images then the images are compressed and the compressed images are converted into electrical signal because a telephone line can carry only electrical signal it cannot carry images so i'm going to scan compress and then convert into electrical electrical signal means i'm going to convert them into voltage and transmit them over telephone line to the receiving fax machine the receiving fax machine will in turn convert the received signals back into graphical images it will expand them and it will convert into original document and print them so that is the operation so the you have two simple operations only compression modulation transmitting and the receiving end you will have demodulation and expansion that was two simple operations we have so the basic group 3 fax machine operation for transmitting a page or shown here so this is you can see it is the uh, it can send and receive the graphical images so here uh, it will have an inbuilt scanner as well as printer so you have to choose which mode your device is going to be used so if you are going to turn into scanner means you are sending information and if you are choosing the printer mode means you have to receive the information and print it so this uh, equipment will do the dual purpose of the transmitting i am receiving your signals back okay transmitting and transmission and reception so see this, this is the basic uh, fax machine operation so as soon as uh, you handshake means you are preparing for transmission so handshake come handshaking process 
so you are notifying the receiver saying that i am going to send a document then you are feeding the document it is being scanned and the scan after being scanned it is being uh, uh converted into electrical signal then video processing is done and then it is going to be completely compressed only compressed signals will be sent to your modem and modem will actually transmit all these electrical signals into the telephone line as a voltage signal modem the name is modulator demodulator okay that is called as modem and modem will be there the both transmitter and receiver end so modulator demodulator transmitting end you will be modulating the receiving end you will be already modulating whatever algorithm you use for compression you have to use the same thing for expansion and receiver you will have a thermal printer for printing out the document whatever you have received from the other person so initially you see handshaking process so handshaking means you are ensuring that the uh sending and receiving fax modems are ready so they will interact with each other and they will set the transmission speed and other settings and what protocol they are going to use and they will ensure that the settings are ready and they give a green signal for you to transmit so if one modem cannot transmit at the highest speed both modems will agree to the fault for the next highest speed at which both modems can transmit see one modem is working at uh, 500 kbps another modem is working at 250 kbps means both will agree to transmit at 250 kbps for uh, preventing loss of data so if one say one is sending data very fast other modem is not able to accept the data means data loss will happen so both the modems will talk to each other and ensure that they they settle at a speed at which both of them can transmit okay so the speed of both the modems have to be same you cannot have one modem faster and one modem to be slower in sending the data so that has to be ensured and next you see the transmitting and scanning so first you have to scan the images on the page are scanned and transferred into analog signal to begin the transmission so scanning is just converting your document into image and then image into your signals so you can use either a charge coupled device we have seen all these in displays right ccd or you can use an image uh, sensor scanner which scans the page being sent so you have uh, support for sensor array of 1728 tiny sensors which is good for a4 size paper which targets very small picture elements of the line sensing one sensor per pixel resulting in 1728 bits per line so it will you have a photo sensor array which is going to scan the page and you are going to generate an image so this array will determine whether the pixel is black or white depending on the text in the a4 page accordingly generates and we cost wrong so if the electron if the pixel is zero means it will it will assume it to be black and you will generate a weak signal but if your pixel is uh, if the pixel is going to be white means it's going to be a strong signal and i am going to generate that particular signal and it will be equal to binary one so page is scanned line by line with all the using pixels in a thin strip and from the top of the page uh, between 10 and 12 scans scan lines per line of text successive strips are scanned so that to complete the whole page into series of electrical pulses so you are going to at a time you are going to scan 10 to 12 scan lines per line of text so you cannot do the complete document so at a time you are going to do 10 or 12 scans of uh, lines per text and it is going to be converted into electrical pulses the amplitude will represent the brightness so if you have a black point there means it will be having a either low or high depending on how the pixel logic or the corresponding for white so scanning operation takes almost 5 to 10 seconds per page so scanning is the very important thing in a fax machine so scanning is going to take 5 to 10 seconds per page okay next one a to d converter i am going to send everything in as electronic signals only right so i have to convert each pixel into bit so for that i will typically use 1 to 6 bits per pixel so after the image processing is complete one bit per pixel is produced see more number of bits you use the resolution is very good but the size of the image is also going to become very very big so transmission time everything will be affected so to into uh, efficient transfer i uh, fix it as one bit per pixel for uh, the page and the proper the processing of scanner data can be done on analog signal scanner or digital data or both so you will consider for all the aspect shading distortion other aspects of the original image can be 
as accurately produced in the receiving end. So shading compensation checks for non-uniformity in the scanner and corrects distortion due to lighting. Sometimes due to lighting effect, the pixel element may not be having the actual value. So those uh, compensation, those distortions are completely removed and you ensure that or at the receiver, there will not be any confusion regarding the data present in the document. Okay, so the transmission has to be effective. Thresholding, so you you convert the output from gray level to black and white for even more uh, uh, processing, further processing and understanding of your image in an efficient way. Okay, so other video processing techniques are also there, so which can be performed in one or two dimensions. So images may be reduced or enlarged depending on your requirement. So if the medical images are there, means medical images cannot be reduced because you will miss all the data. So for that, those uh, things, uh, you will not reduce the medical images, but normal images which you are transferring can be reduced so that you reduce the bandwidth and time of transmission and compressing. So any uh, the data has to be compressed by a factor of 5 to 20. So if, for example, if your uh, total image size is 500 KB after a scanning, so if you do a compression of 5, it will become 100 KB. The size will be divided by 5. So depending on the image, so if you cannot always use this, uh, you cannot fix the compression factor, so it will vary from image to image. So you will this off generate code words containing the pixel information in compressed digital signal. So the pixel information is completely compressed into digital signals. Modulation. Finally, I have to transmit the compressed signals into the telephonic client. So I am going to uh, modulate it. The modulation is done using the modem and it can be sent over uh, telephone lines. So group 3 fax machines are half duplex, half duplex. At a time, you can send or receive. You cannot do it. So if the fax machine is sending data, it cannot receive immediately. It has to wait till the transmission is over. Then only it can receive the data. So it is going to be half duplex. Then the signals are transmitted over the phone lines from the sending uh, modem to the receiving modem. Okay, the signals are transmitted from the sending to the receiving modem. At the receiving modem, inverse happens. So demodulation will happen first. The modem demodulates or uh, decodes the received analog tones, regenerating digital bits. So it is going to perform demodulation. So the name is modem. So it does the operation of modulation and demodulation. So once you demodulate the data, you go for Decompress not expansion. You have compressed the signal for transmission, right? That only when you expand it properly, you will get the exact information. And remember, uh, compression and expansion are not uh, reversible process. So, how much ever, how much you compress and how much you expand, you will not get the same image. There will be some slight difference to your image. Okay. So, uh, compression and uh, expansion are not linear operation. Thermal printing, you have a thermal printer which converts the bitstream into original page. The printer's wires are spaced accordingly while they're touching the temperature sensitive to recording paper. For so black marking, your wire heats up and the current pass through them. So nowadays, normal printers are available. You can also go for thermal printers at those days, which will prepare, which will uh, uh, print uh, depending on the color, white and black. White means it will go for uh, non-marking and black means it will go for marking. And same way, it uh, takes a few milliseconds to print your paper. Resolution, standard resolution is 203 lines per inch and 98 lines per inch down the page. So you can also go for high resolution option for getting a very clear image of your uh, whatever data is being sent. So group 3 fax machines are now available worldwide because they are the standard. See, it's just like on uh, mobile communication, we have 1G, 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G, right? So now group 3 is the digital standard which, uh, which ensures compatibility among the different fax machines. So group 1 was formed in 1968 and group 2 was formed in 1976. Group 1 used analog and it can send four to, so four to six minutes per page. While group two is also analog, it can do two to three minutes per page machines. But group three stand was adopted in 1980, and it can uh, send an A4 size page in approximately 30 seconds over a telephone line. So A4 size paper, it will take 30 seconds to go to the receiving end. The group three machines actually do better because they before see before blindly sending it to a handshake handshake means i will ensure that all the parameters are correct and then i am going to transmit 
okay so the handshaking is done which will ensure reliable transmission and uh, average page takes 10 to 30 seconds and within uh, about 15 seconds your uh, handshake and everything will be over So the time of time per page really depends on how many black markings are present and the level of detail so which you are going to be uh, compression scheme everything because the compression scheme will determine uh, how effectively you are going to retrieve the data back. Due to advancing technology, Group 3 has been revised several times and since your uh, the technology has been improved very much, you have ELSA and DSP, the DSP is digital signal processing, so everything has resulted in a very efficient and uh, smaller size of these machines with a reduced reduction time. So instantly as you press the transmit button at the receiver, you can see the printout being taken. Okay, so Group 4 machines transmit data at 64 kbps which is suited to a computer control network. So all your modems in your desktop, the minimum speed is 64 kbps only. Okay, so group four machines are designed for transmission over ISDN. ISDN is a very high speed digital network. So even you can use the group four machine to transmit data over ISDN also. So you can see the Panasonic uh, taxi mail machine, you have a telephone jack, quiet will going at that end. You have an help, an auto receive. As soon as you receive something, it will be automatically printed. You will not wait for the operator to press the print button. You have flash, redial, mute speaker, the landline speaker along with the fancy facility. Okay. You have a stop, volume ringer, uh, low air start copy set, one touch dialer, resolution, LCD readout, menu and directory. So you have all these options uh, readily available in the fax machine. So it is a compact fax machine which combines faxi mail function, full function telephone and copier function. So three things are there. It's a fax machine for trans transmitting and receiving data. It's a telephone line where you can speak to anybody and it does copier. Copier means scanning and printing. The paper cutter will automatically cut the incoming document into A4 size pages. Okay, 64 level half tones ensure even your photos, whatever you send, it will look great. And with the help function, you can provide operating and programming assistance. So telephone jack will give you the flexibility of using either an answering system or an existing telephone. Okay. So with group while group three machines excel at standalone person to person communication, so group four machines are suited for in the network communication. When you have more number of computers control network communication, it's better to go for a group four machine. So even though so even though you so even though you uh, have uh, wireless communication and the different standards available, you, people still use faxi mail machines today because uh, uh, they are a little, uh, little bit uh, cost effective and even the information will be sent in a reliable way. However, the installed base of group 4 is very, very small today compared to group 3. The majority of people are going to use only group 3. They are not using group 4 because they are a little bit expensive. So this is all we have for fax machine. I hope the working of fax machine is very clear, simple. You see the process once again, handshaking to establish communication. Then uh, just like how you do a mobile call from a mobile phone. Initially, when you press the dial button, you will be waiting for some time, a few seconds. In that time, a connection is established between you and the receiver. Only if the connection is established properly, you get a ringtone sound, which ensures that the person is available to take your call. So same thing here, once the handshake is over, you scan, compress, modulate, and send. Receiving it, demodulate, expand, and get back your data okay so this is going to be your uh, fax 